Welcome to lesson five of learning SQL. If you've been following along with my videos, you've been able to do some amazing things using the GUI. You've been able to load tables. You've been able to uh, restore databases, all kinds of amazing things in a very short amount of time. That's what makes SQL beautiful. You don't have to memorize everything, but you do have to use it on a regular basis. So I recommend you get in there and you follow along with me. Um, take some screenshots if you need to. Watch the video 50 times and uh, make sure that you're following along and doing the coding here, writing these statements out, and you're going to get better and better and it's going to become second nature to you. So today I'm going to talk about sum, average, and count. So here are some more variables that we can use uh, for us to create a total of the values using sum. We can create averages on values and we can count the number of occurrences of values. I'm also going to talk about using distinct uh, and group by. So some really powerful tools that we really haven't got into before that you're going to um, find extremely useful in any business environment or even if you're creating your own database. Um, these, especially if you have huge amounts of data, can really become invaluable tools. So you can see here that I've just got my statements written out. We're going to be using the sales order detail. Um, I've given you kind of several different ways that you can uh, pull that data down. I, I've shown you how you can click and drag for your tables when you're doing the from so you don't have to worry about spelling mistakes. But I, I haven't covered IntelliSense yet and I do want to cover that so I'm going to show you that here. So the first thing we want to do is see what's in the tables. Now I'm using a select star, the wild card, so it pulls back everything. You wouldn't want to do that in a production environment. You'd want to stick to the top 100 or something along those lines or just um, like we've done in the past, right click and use the select top 1000 rows. And it will write the query for you through the GUI so you can see what kind of tables you have in there. And I'll go ahead and run this just so you can see because I wanted to find out even when I was writing this lesson what's in here that I can sum or average that that kind of makes sense um, in a business environment they're gonna give you your orders you know hey we need to know how much uh, we've spent or how much the total unit price prices and all the sales we've made we want to know you know the total amount of people in HR any of those type of questions you can answer without having to run these giant queries, exporting it into Excel, then running some of your um, formulas there. You can do it all right through uh, SQL here very quickly. So I did the select star from AdventureWorks, but here's where I want to talk about IntelliSense. So I'm going to start typing some things out here. I'm going to do select star, oops, star from and here as I'm typing look what happens do you see how it automatically starts bringing down some options for me and I can click my down arrow key to highlight adventure works 2014 and hit enter and now I can put a period and I can start typing sales and see how it gave me sales already I can do another period and then I can start typing sales and look at that order detail right there now IntelliSense is really smart because I've used order detail several times it was one of the first selections up there if you haven't used it several times in a query yet then it may be towards the bottom and you may have to type out a little more like sales order and then it'll show up uh, for you because it's gonna stack rank them by use so IntelliSense is extremely valuable and if you don't want to use the click and drag you can use the IntelliSense and it gives us the same records back. Notice it's a little different. This was a click and drag and this was IntelliSense doing it but same results there. So let's talk about sum. So our boss came to us they said for whatever reason I want the you know a sum of all the total unit prices how much does that equate to of everything we have. Okay so we've got the select and now we're putting the sum statement right after the select then the unit price, what we want to grab. Now I'm combining some of the things we learned. Oops, let's undo that. I'm combining some of the things we learned using as. Remember, as creates uh, a new name for this, so it names this total unit price because I want the unit price brought back 
and I want the column name to be total unit price. And we talked about doing that in the GUI before, um, but we've not written it out in a query statement. So here it is. And if I didn't use this, by the way, if I didn't use this, then this is what I'm going to get back from this query. See, no column name there. Uh, but I still get my sum of everything that's there, the unit price, but I do not have anything titled there. So to make it easier, look at that. Now it says total unit price, and it gives me the same result. So that's how you sum. An average and count do the same thing. There's nothing different here except we're changing the word right after select to AVG, and you can actually spell out average too if you want. And there's my average unit price. Notice I put it as unit price here. That's my average unit price uh, that I have is 465. And then let's just count. Count the unit price. And remember, counts the number of occurrences. We have 121,317 uh, unit prices in there. So that's how you use sum, average, and count. You're just sum, average, or count after select your table name. You can use as if you want. You don't have to. Um, to name that column what you want and then from uh, the database uh, and tables that you're wanting to grab from AdventureWorks sales sales order detail. So that's how you use sum, average, and count. Very easy. Now, distinct is another really powerful tool. Distinct allows you um, to remove duplicate values out of a return. So it, just like the word distinct, it, cre it brings back distinct values and it can be used with average and sum as well. So if we just want to see distinct unit prices, we can use select distinct. Notice that select count, select average, select sum, everything we use, you're just putting it right after your select statement and then you're writing your query as normal. And we can go here and we have our average or our distinct unit prices. There's no duplicates in here may not be useful so much on unit prices but maybe for sales order ID which we use distinct here again nothing different but I'm bringing back two columns sales order ID and unit price here if I execute this here are my unique sales order IDs only so no duplicate values um, probably wouldn't want to mix unit price in there so let's take that out and if you execute that here are just my distinct sales order IDs because maybe I want to pull from that table and I just want the sales order IDs. I don't need the duplicated ones. I just need um, every sales order ID I have and that's what I want to pull back and I want to merge that with another table or do something different with that data. So distinct is a very powerful tool as well. Um, I also want to talk about finally the group by a little more. So we've used this in previous state uh, lessons but um, this is kind of one to leave you with to play here is select sales order ID then we're gonna sum the unit price now notice in this case we're not using sum right after select and that's just because we're selecting the sales order ID and we just want to sum we want the total of the unit price and then I'm naming it as sum of unit from the AdventureWorks database but I want it grouped by the sales order ID because I want to know how much unit prices, how much the sum of the unit prices that were sold by sales order ID. And there you have your value. So what, what we have is our sales order ID on the left. It's grouped by our sales order ID. And we have the sum of the units on the right. So some very powerful statements that you can use. Uh, I really recommend you get in there and play with these. Um, you can't really go wrong and break anything. Use IntelliSense. It will help you as you're writing your queries. I hope you like this video. I hope you get in there and start playing with it. Comment below if you've run into any issues or need some help. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Remember, the best way to learn is to get in there and try to break something. Until next time.